What's up, boys and girls? This is Frank again, uh, doing a mesh of a martini glass. I had uh, one of the people who wrote on my video, my ideas video for mesh tutorials, he gave me an idea to do clear objects, something like glasses or whatever. So I chose to do a martini glass. Um, the thing is, when, when you're doing clear objects, clear objects are only important when you uh, think about the background because doing mesh objects it's only going to pick up basically what the background is bringing through the clear object so with this glass it got a white background so it's going to be a lot of white in the mesh you do a black background it's going to be a lot of black in the mesh here I have uh, some what are these called uh, olives and they're going to be behind the front part of the glass but in the middle of the glass itself and the background shows throughout and you're going to have the little instances where the reflections from light and the actual drink which is clear is gonna gonna show in the glass so i mean that's basically the whole thing to doing clear objects is what's what's going to be seen behind it so here you just see me going through doing my basic putting the lines down for my mesh to get everything in the position where I want it so I can start the mesh and as you see I did speed up the video because these this whole video is eight minutes long or so but it was uh, about an hour and 20 minutes worth of recording so to make eight minutes fit in this uh, small time frame I had to break it up into two parts so this is the first part and I'll post the second part probably next week so this is just what I have to do to make everything fit but let me talk about a few things I had a guy that wrote me on DeviantArt <clears throat> and told me that uh, Gradient mesh aren't vectors. Now he came to this conclusion, 20 year old guy from Canada, he came to this conclusion because he's never heard of gradient mesh. So therefore, by, since he's never heard of a gradient mesh, therefore it is not a vector. I hope you, young man, never become a lawyer because that is the, the insanely most uninformed statement I've heard in quite some time and somebody to actually believe he believed in what he was saying so I gave him a few links to go look at and he kept coming back with his uh, rebuttals and he obviously didn't look at my links because he still had his viewpoint of what he had to say but as you see here I'm going through meshing uh, the part with the olive I just want to get the outline of where the olive was just so I could see what I was getting into and so I could have something to show you guys but I didn't show the whole meshing of this on video because it would have took too long and here's an hour and a half later and you see what I got I'm about to show it here pretty soon I'm gonna show you uh, this is my mesh on the top half and the actual photo on the bottom half. But as, when I get done with that, I'm gonna keep on going with the mesh. But that was his argument. So I'm just, I'm gonna say this. Uh, gradient mesh are vectors. They're um, done in a vector program and they can be scaled to any size without losing quality. Basic definition of a vector. And and people believe they aren't vectors sorry to tell you they are now the creativity factor yeah I mean a lot of stuff that I do and to show you guys yeah it doesn't take a lot of creativity to create a photo recreate a photo I'm sorry but um, also you, uh, art itself what is it does it take a lot of creativity to do a lot of things that's considered art I've traveled the world, been to France, England, Germany, and been to other parts of the world, and what's considered art is all depending on the person that creates it. 
and you can look at that and as many things. I've seen paintings where guys take a, a paint on a brush and splash it on a canvas and randomly splashes that appear and they said that's art. It's not a lot of creativity. I mean, because a, my a, a infant can do that. So, but it's still considered art. No matter who makes up the definition, that's considered art. So therefore, this is considered art. Now, it's a recreation. Photography is a recreation of reality. What's your point? My eye can capture the same thing that that camera lens can capture. The only thing is the camera lens can save it and do whatever from that point. My brain can save it also. So, I mean, it's all it's, it's just depending on the person, what it is or what you like, your preferences. I mean, I do this kind of vector art recreation of photos because I enjoy it. There's nothing else to it. That's the basic concept of why I do this. I mean, I teach others because they want to learn, but I do it for, because it, it. I enjoy doing it. That's it. Nothing more to it. I mean, people trying to, you know, come up with mathematic equations of why and what's the purpose. Well, why and what's the purpose of any form of art? Even photography itself, when it initially came out, it wasn't considered art. It was just a tech, technological achievement, and and it went from there. I mean, art has evolved along the way from cave drawings to photography. I mean, well, to traditional painting, to photography, to digital painting, and to vector art. I mean, art will continue to grow, whether we're here or not, whether we're putting labels on it or not. So, I mean, to each his own, man. Do what you like. I mean, but I enjoy doing this, and therefore, I will continue to do this. But off that subject, um, but what you just saw was... Um, on the on the work I'm doing here is you just saw the basic placement of the mesh lines and again I'm trying to go through and show you guys me bringing in this olive somewhat just on the edges and in part two I showed the finished part finished photo of what I have so far and I'll show you that and the finished piece but um, it was pretty cool working on it, it took about I'll say about seven hours. But until next time, guys, part two coming soon.